yeah. Hey. Haters talking to me, tell them pipe down. Pipe down, pipe down. Or it's lights out, zeros on the debit, baby. All I do is swipe now. Gucci sweater five thousand. What's going on guys, this is Kazi. Welcome back to another epic video, advanced techniques to creating a cinematic look. Now, when we watch certain shows or movies, and if you wonder, what is that sauce? What is that thing that makes it what it is? Like where every color belongs, the exposure is just perfect, the contrast is perfect, nothing is blown out, nothing is oversaturated. That is what you're going to be learning here. You already saw the breakdown from Rec 709 to the final grade. This look is substantial okay and at the end of this tutorial you'll know exactly how to do it i guarantee it that after watching and absorbing this information your grades are going to just go to the next next level that said it is an advanced tutorial which means you need to have the basics to understand what's going on over here okay there's going to be similar effects that i've used in the past that i'm going to be using here but i'm going to be really diving deep and showing you what different parameters do and how to properly use them so that requires some advanced knowledge now if you want to learn more about that then we recently did a survey majority of you regardless of the skill set are struggling with shot matching skin tones balancing and working with 8-bit footage so i created a one hour long free training that covers all of that plus we'll wrap up the training with an extensive q a and you'll also get a link to download the practice footage power grades and some of my personal luts so do not wait to check out the free training link is up top and in the description below that said if you're enjoying the content do me a favor smash that like button subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness make sure you're following us on instagram and let's roll the info All right, so let's get started. This one, there's a lot of moving pieces, so pay attention and definitely grab a notepad, okay? As always, we're gonna start off with our note tree and to create this look, having a proper note tree structure is a must, okay? If you wanna learn more about that, then I encourage you to check out the free training, link is down below. All right, let's get started. Oops. And we're going to have a 10 nodes node tree. Let's start naming them. Okay. So first node is going to be noise reduction. Here we're going to use halation. Primaries. We're going to have glow. We're going to use light rays. Unsharpen or film blur. This is going to be our film curve. And we are going to be using Kodak 2383. Now, the reason why we're going to be using this is pretty simple. Okay. If I take you right here and you go on shot on what.com, type in Kodak Vision Color 2383, you're going to see some of your favorite movies are done. Uh, with the Kodak 2383 film print. Okay, so we got Joker here, Munich, The Dark Knight, The Thin Red Line, The Beautiful Mind, Body of Lies, Shutter Island, Thor, Spider-Man, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, the list goes on. Okay, so you can check it out for yourself, but I'm telling you, pretty much think of any blockbuster epic looking movie, and it was done, Dunkirk, it was done using the 2383 film print, okay? So that's why we're going to be using that. I also want to use tools that are available in DaVinci Resolve so you don't have to go out and buy something. So CST, let's start with that. We're going to drop that color space transform. Now, guys, this is an advanced tutorial for a reason, okay? I'm not going to overcomplicate it just because I'm calling it advanced. But at the same time, like I said, I'm assuming that you have the basic knowledge. If you don't, once again, I'm going to say check out the free training link is down below it will explain everything to you especially why i use uh, certain nodes in a specific order so all of that information is in the free training okay so let's get started this stuff is shot on alexa mini so i'm going to choose Ari alexa alexa loxy rec 709 and then here we're going to use cineon film log why because we're going to be using 
their LUTs and to have a proper conversion, we have to use Cineon film log. If you want to learn more, once again, you have to watch the free training. Uh, and then here I'm going to use a neutral um, flavor. So it's going to be the D60, 2383. And uh, once I drop it on um, already, it looks pretty good. Let's park it on our hero frame, which is going to be at two seconds right here. And uh, so far, so good. I mean, if I turn it on and off, we're really uh, taking full advantage of the color contrast. We got cooler tones inside, warmer tones outside. So that's really coming through. Um, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in our film curve and I'm gonna start creating a pretty aggressive curve. Okay, so we're gonna do something like this. I'm gonna pull this down like such, lift it up from here and then lift it up again here. Uh, let's see. Let's smooth it out a little bit. One more thing that I want to do though is under CST, go ahead and turn on your maximum output to 100 nits. And that's gonna make sure to even out like these highlights so they don't just go super ugly like this. So if I click it, see it cleans it up. So I like that, I'm gonna leave that on. And if I do before and after um, with what we did with our custom curve, like it really did help. Now we can try to move it around and be a little aggressive with it because quite honestly, I do want to pull it out a little bit more. I just want to have a bit more pop. So let me see. All right, so this doesn't look bad. I'm gonna leave it right here. What I wanna do in my primaries is I wanna lift up my gamma just a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it maybe somewhere around three-ish and then I wanna take my gain and pull it down. Uh, not too much, maybe around 90-ish. And if I do before and after, we're really getting some information in our low end. So I don't mind that at all, I actually like it. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna go under my printer lights and I'm gonna do half cyan. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of mood to my shot, okay? So this is before, uh, which is looking pretty good and well balanced, but with one cyan, it just adds a little bit more of an X factor to my image, okay? So I'm gonna leave that there. Now that I've done this, I'm gonna go back in my contrast and I wanna start massaging my contrast just a little bit more. So I'm gonna grab it from here. I'm gonna pull this down to something like that. And uh, I'm gonna take this and maybe park it somewhere around here. Now, what I wanna do at this point is go under noise reduction because it's just so much noise right now that it's looking super nasty. So let's clean it up. I'm gonna go under my motion. Uh, I'm just gonna turn on one frame and then grab the threshold to 4.8 ish. We want to do minimum amount of noise reduction or else it just gets like very uh, mushy and weird. Even something like this, like right now we're punched in really close, but if I pull out and if I do this, it's already looking very, very clean. You can even see it before, after. Uh, so it's doing a really good job. And I think that's all I want to do. And, um, this is where we're at so far, okay? I'm gonna go under my glow node, type in glow. So let's throw on a glow, and then what I wanna do is I wanna go and select soft light. I'm gonna grab my shine threshold, pull it back all the way. And just by doing that, like look at how punchy everything got without looking digital. It still has that film character. If anything, it's adding more film character uh, to my entire image. Just look at the oranges um, outside and then the teal coming through and just everything is so much more pronounced. Now, under film blur, this is gonna be a very uh, hard to tell on YouTube, but I'm gonna go in here. Usually we add sharpening here, but this time we're just gonna add 0.52 
blur. And it's in enough to do the trick and make it look more quote unquote film like cinematic. Uh, but it's enough where it's not going to blur your entire image. OK, so it's not going to do that. It's just going to add a little bit more character. And guys, ultimately, that's what cinematic look is all about. It's adding character, adding atmosphere. Um, that's what we're trying to do with all the techniques that I'm showing you right now. OK. So here I'm going to type in light rays. Let's drop it on. So once you drop it on, it looks super ugly. This is not how we want it. So we're going to go back into our effects. So the first thing that I want to do is control the angle of it. So I'm going to change the ray direction to at an angle. And then I like the angle that it's at. I mean, we can move it around a little bit, but I think I don't mind how it's just kind of pointing at our talent. Now what I want to do is I want to take the length and I want to start extending it all the way. Okay. And just look at it. It makes it so realistic. And at this point I can take the softening and then start softening it up as well. And that just tapers it off on the tail end uh, to just make it feel more realistic. So if I go through, you still see the volumetric lighting that is created with this effect, but it is just so believable um, that I buy it, right? And it just adds so much character to my scene. Once again, we're after character and um, atmosphere, okay? So this did the trick. We don't have to go overboard with it uh, because as always, the idea is to create a look that is a look DNA that could be applied on the entire scene, not just on one shot. Here, I'm going to use Resolve 17.4's new feature, Halation Effect. And uh, when you drop it on, it just looks garbage. It looks so bad. So don't use it like this. Let's get in there, get granular and see what we have to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under my strength and I'm going to pull it back. And uh, as of now, we're not really doing much. I'm going to take my dye layer um, strength and I'm going to turn that up. And then I'm going to take the spread there and turn that up as well. And now if I pull back and if I do before and after, again, we're going after that atmosphere, that imperfection that you get through the film negative. And that's what we're going after. That's what makes film so much more cinematic than digital because digital is too calculated. It's too perfect. Okay where the photochemical process is organic and it's more cinematic, okay? Just at least to our eyes. And I like that. Again, not overdoing it, just doing enough where it's tastefully done, yet just look at what all these effects did, okay? And the way we used them. So if I turn this on and off, just look at the character that all of this added. Now, Mind you, we're not using any power windows. We're not using any qualifiers. We're not even using um, HSL curves. All we're using are these broad stroke tools that created something very, very beautiful. Okay. And uh, like I said, guys, even advanced techniques don't mean rocket science. Okay. It's all about how you wield the sword um, is what makes you an expert. So let me kill everything, start from the beginning. I went with the Kodak 2383 because that's where the experience comes in. I wanted to create a film look and that's the first step in doing that. Um, if done right, then I took my custom curve and further enhance that film curve. Then we went in our primaries and just lifted the bottom up a little bit, added a little bit of cyan to give it more of a cinematic look. And then uh, I dropped in glow and just look at how 3D, how it just made everything pop. Um, I added light rays to give our lights some volume. Uh, we added film blur and it's very subtle. Probably you can't tell on YouTube, but I promise you I'm looking at a 4K image and it really goes a long way. We added noise reduction. And if you look at in this area, even like this, you can tell the difference. Okay, so after, before, all gunky after all cleaned up. And then we added halation, which just helped us with that 
ambiance with that like atmosphere that we're after. And uh, let's check out the final look in full screen. Hey, just talk to me, tell him pipe down. Pipe down. Or it's lights out, zeros on the debit, baby, all I do is swipe now. Gucci sweat a five thousand. So now you can pretty much tell that there's a method to that madness, right? Like you can't just like throw all different nodes in whichever order and, uh, you know, cross your fingers and hope for the best. That's not how color grading works. It's not rocket science, but at the same time, there is a certain structure. If you want to learn more about that, I highly, highly encourage you to be checking out the free training. Link is going to be up top and in the description below. That said, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness. And remember, work hard, get obsessed, get possessed. I will see you guys in the next video.